In today's video, I am sharing some of my favorite activities to do in Lake Tahoe in the winter. Kicking off the list at number one is snowshoeing. And one of my favorite spots to snowshoe in Lake Tahoe is Chickadee Ridge. This easygoing snowshoe trek starts at Tahoe Meadows, just north of Incline Village. It's about two miles or so to reach the ridge, which has gorgeous views of Lake Tahoe. The area also features lots of pine trees, which look magical when covered in snow and is also home to Tahoe's friendly chickadee birds. There's been quite a few times when I've skipped the hike to the ridge and just made a day of visiting the chickadee birds. Wow, that's so cool. Number two on the list is snow tubing. There are quite a few places around Lake Tahoe that you can pay an admission fee to snow tube down groomed tubing lanes. I much prefer the free hills, which are just as, if not more fun. A few areas where you can find free sledding hills are Spooner Junction, where Highway 50 meets Route 28, across from Emerald Bay, off Highway 89, and Fallen Leaf Lake Road, also off Highway 89. Number three is taking a scenic tram ride. One of the best places to take an aerial scenic tram ride is Palisades Tahoe. The 10 minute ride takes you 8,000 feet above sea level and features spectacular views of the mountains and Lake Tahoe in the distance. Once you reach the top and exit the tram, you can walk out on the panoramic sun deck snap a few pictures, and grab a drink at the Alpine Bar. Number four is ice skating at Heavenly Village. Ice skating at Heavenly Village in South Lake Tahoe is a nice alternative if you're not into skiing. The small but festive rink is within walking distance of shops, bars, and restaurants. Once you've had your fill on the ice, you can grab a bite or sip on some hot chocolate at one of the fire pits that overlook the rink. Number five is snowshoeing at Donner Memorial State Park. I recently went snowshoeing at Donner Memorial State Park for the first time and it was such an amazing experience that I had to add it to the list. The flat and easily accessible three mile trail loops through the entire park and is incredibly scenic the whole way. We went the day after a big snowstorm, which created some of the most magical winter wonderland conditions I've witnessed. One of my favorite things about this hike were the towering snow-covered pine trees that framed both sides of the trail. Along the hike are numerous little trails that veer off the main loop and lead down to Donner Lake. We chose to snowshoe, but the Groom Trail is also a fantastic spot for cross-country skiing. Number six is Donner Summit. The charming town of Truckee is about a 20 minute drive from North Lake Tahoe. One of the best things to do while visiting Truckee is to drive up Donner Pass to Donner Summit. The views of Donner Lake and Truckee are spectacular from this spot, especially when covered in snow. Once you've taken in the panoramic views, you can head back down the pass and grab a bite in historical downtown Truckee. Number seven is Emerald Bay State Park. Emerald Bay State Park is one of the most touristy locations in Lake Tahoe, but it's also one of the most beautiful. I visited countless times during every season and one of my favorite times to explore Emerald Bay is in the winter. The snow adds a little something extra to an already picture-perfect scene. I highly recommend hiking or snowshoeing down the Vikings Home Trail to the bottom of Emerald Bay. Once at the base, there's much to explore, including Lower Eagle Falls, the Emerald Bay Pier, and the Vikings Home Castle. Number eight is bar hopping. One of the best things to do after a day spent on the slopes is to grab beers and some appetizers at one of the many bars and breweries. Most bars around Tahoe have an outdoor seating area with fire pits and heating lamps, making for a cozy experience. Here are a few recommendations. 
Number nine is doing a sunset hike to Monkey Rock. Lake Tahoe is known for producing brilliant sunsets. One of the most enjoyable ways to watch the sunset is on a hike that ends with a beautiful view. One of my favorite sunset hikes in Lake Tahoe is Monkey Rock. The trail to Monkey Rock is 2.6 miles out and back and features sweeping views of North Lake Tahoe and Incline Village. Number 10 is a scenic gondola ride. If you don't ski or snowboard, but still want to enjoy those heavenly views, a scenic gondola ride to the top of Heavenly Mountain is a great way to do it. Full disclosure, at $96 for an adult ticket, I think the price is a bit steep, but it's worth doing at least once. Once at the top, hop off and take in the jaw-dropping views from the wraparound observation deck. Number 11 is snowmobiling. Snowmobiling in Lake Tahoe is an exciting way to enjoy the snowy scenery. Whether you're interested in exploring Lake Tahoe's backcountry or riding up to stunning winter views of the lake, there are several snowmobiling tour operators in the Lake Tahoe area. Here are a few recommendations. And last but not least, skiing or snowboarding at one of Tahoe's premier mountain resorts. Lake Tahoe is a premier destination for skiing and snowboarding. And I'm happy to say that I actually went skiing for the first time in Lake Tahoe since moving here. I should have done it a long time ago, but hey, I finally got out there on the slopes. I've only skied at Heavenly so far, but I'm hoping to get a few more mountains under my belt. Here are some of the top rated ski resorts in Lake Tahoe. All right, you guys, that was my Lake Tahoe winter guide. I really hope you found this video helpful. I feature lots of videos on Lake Tahoe and the surrounding area on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.